Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier and today I'm going to teach you how to play a 12 bar blues solo that sounds like this. If you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, if you could give me a like on the video and also leave me some comments in the comment section. So this is a 12 bar blues in the key of C. It's in a 12-8 kind of feel. Okay, so let's learn it. So the first phrase sounds like this. So for that, we're on G12, then B11, then G12, and then B11. We'll do a little blues curl, little bend out of tune, back to the G12, and then we've got a really quick hammer on from B11 to B13. So you don't really hear that little 11 there. So from the beginning you get. The next phrase starts the same, G12 to B11 to G12. And then we're gonna do a fast slide down with the third finger from 12 down to 10. So you got. And then play G8. Little blues curl, bend out of tune just a little bit. And then we're gonna hit the 10 on the D string to finish. So the second bar goes. So if we put bars one and two together, we get this. On to the third bar, we're just gonna jump between the G12 and the B11, it goes. And then we're gonna play a B13, pulling off to B11, and then G12. So the third bar sounds like this. And then the last bar, we're gonna do a pull off from 11 to 10 on the G string. Then play the eight, pull off from 10 to eight, and then up to the D string and play eight, 10. So the fourth bar sounds like this. Okay, so let's try the whole of the first line nice and slowly. Ready, and. And up speed. So that's all over C, and then uh, onto the next line, it starts over an F chord, and we've got. So for that, I'm playing G8 twice, and then pulling off from D10 to D7. I've deliberately gone to that 7 rather than the 8, which would be on the pentatonic scale, because that's the third of F, so part of the F chord. So I'm pulling off from 10 to the 7, back to the 10, so you get. And then into the next bar, we're gonna play uh, the E10 on the string nearest the floor, bending up a semitone, and then gonna play it normally, and then eight. So it goes one, two, three, four, and. So the first two bars go. And then into the next bar, we're gonna go. So just B10, up and down and then play the eighth fret. And then at the end of that line, we've got a G12, a B11, back to a G12. So the whole line goes like this. Um, on that, the second note of that line, I sometimes do a blues curl on it. It's a little bend out of tune, so you can put that in if you want. Um, I want you just to remember that the last three notes, the so G12, B11, G12, and we're going to the next line, because it's going to play those and go straight into this. So it goes. 
So you've played the G12, the B11, the G12, and then you're gonna do a hammer on from B11 to B13, another fast one, you only hear really the 13. And then play the 11. And then to the G11, G10, G8, and then D10. So we've got the three notes from the previous line and Then up to E13, bend up a full tone. And then you're gonna play B, uh, sorry, E11, bend up twice. So it goes one. And that's the whole thing. So let's try and put it all together. Here we go, nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's try it up to full speed with the looper. Uh, I'll do it once with you and then I'll leave the looper to do it one more time round so you can practice it on your own. Here we go. One, two, oh, one, two, three, four. solo for you hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel which is Andy Hillier if you could give me a like uh, leave me some comments including anything you want to learn um, and also just let me know what you thought of the video uh, there's some t-shirts to buy if you want to support the channel thanks for watching this I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time